Hello friends. Welcome to Storytime with Dr. Rivers. In today's story, a young mouse ventures out from his home to explore his neighborhood, which happens to be a meadow. A meadow is like an open field. In that meadow, many animals live. Some are predators and others are prey. A predator is like a hunter. He looks around for other animals that he can eat. The prey are the animals that are hunted. Let's find out what some of the predators are in the field that Little Mouse is exploring. Are you ready? Let's begin. The Mouse and the Meadow, written and illustrated by Chad Wallace. One day, a little meadow mouse was crawling through a field, staring in amazement at the wonders it revealed. The grassy open meadow put his courage to the test, for he had never left the comfort of his mother's nest. He set out on his own to gain some knowledge of the earth, to experience the lessons that would shape his sense of worth. Among some tangled reeds, he saw a spider weaving thread. What is it you're doing there? The little rodent said. I'll trap myself some insects with this sticky silver lace. There'll be no escaping once the webbing is in place. The young mouse watched intently until finally she was done. He marveled at the neat design. The crafty spider spun. And as he continued on among the flowers, leaves, and weeds, the mouse soon found another creature tending to its needs. A black and yellow honeybee was busy at her task. Uh, excuse me, said the mouse. There is a question I must ask. I see that you are busy, but would you please give mention? As to why that yellow flower is in need of your attention? I'm all collecting pollen and sweet nectar for the hive, pollinating flowers so we all can stay alive. He watched her gather nectar from the blossom's shiny crown. She wore the golden pollen like a sticky yellow gown. I really must be going. The busy bee began to plead. I do have over 30,000 mouths I need to feed. Wow, 30,000 is a lot. With every new discovery, his fascination grew for the wonders of the meadow from a mouse's point of view. He scurried up a milkweed plant to find a higher seed. And there he found a caterpillar hanging from its feet. Wow, said the excited mouse. That really looks like fun. Completely unaware, a transformation had begun. Thirteen days, the lava spoke, inside a chrysalis where I will undergo a total metamorphosis. A metamorphosis is a change when something goes from one stage to another. When the chrysalis is finished and broken, a beautiful butterfly will emerge. Let's continue to see what else is going on in the meadow. The humble rodent left the brilliant insect to her chore, but he would need a break before proceeding to explore. And so the tired mouse had come to rest upon a stone when suddenly he realized he no longer was alone. The shiny boulder sprang to life and out emerged a head. It would seem the unsuspecting mouse had been misled. Uh, excuse me, said the startled mouse. I thought you were a mouse. You fooled me into thinking you were made of solid ground. Don't give it a second thought, the old box turtle spoke. I like keeping company with 
harmless younger folk. You see, not every creature in this meadow is your friend. Some will introduce you to a most untimely end. The mouse gave his attention to the turtle's candid words, which warned the mouse of hidden snakes and predatory birds. So far he was fond of all the dwellers in his hood. That is until he came upon a patch of rotting wood. Something in the darkness raised the hair upon his back. The frightened rodent feared he was the victim of attack. Remembering the wise old turtle's warning to beware, he ducked behind some thorns without a moment left to spare. Lunging from the shadows was a giant hungry snake. You just made a most delectable mistake. You wandered in my territory. Now this is the deal. You will have the honor of becoming my next meal. The serpent plunged his head inside the twisted, tangled shrub and slipped about the pricker bush in chase of yummy grub. Then suddenly the reptile, whose cover had been blown, found that the garter snakes are not the masters of this zone. A weasel had the munchies for a long and scaly treat. Who would have thought that snakes are something weasels like to eat? So while the giant monsters kept each other held at bay, it gave the frightened mouse the perfect chance to get away. He came upon a grassy hole, but found it occupied. That means that someone is there. A mother rabbit caring for the babies at her side. He counted seven bunnies snuggled tight upon her chest, safe and soundly sleeping in their warm and cozy nest. Hello, said the gentle mom. What brings you to my den? It's dangerous outside, he said. I won't go there again. There's danger, said the rabbit, in this meadow where we live. But also it's a place to learn what nature has to give. Every cre creature in this field and in the sky above plays a part in making this the meadow that we love. Each day helps prepare us for the bumpy road ahead. And then the sleepy mouse enjoy a warm and fluffy bed. Look at the little mouse hiding there amongst the baby bunny bunnies. Your mother's rabbit's lesson was encouraging and wise, thought the wakened rodent as he rubbed open his eyes. The little guy was not aware of all the hours past, but knew the sun was setting by the shadows that were cast. Thank you, said the tiny mouse. I best be on my way. I need to make my own home in the meadow right away. So once again he ventured out into the world unknown, wondering if one day he'll have bunnies of his own. Next the mouse was witness to a most amazing sight, tiny insects dancing in a symphony of light. A friendly band of fireflies was lightening up the sky, brilliant yellow flashes like the fourth day of July. One of those glow bugs brightened up a nearby leaf. How is it you do that? Asked the mouse in disbelief. A chemical reaction makes our yellow bottoms glow. It shows us where to find attractive females down below. The conversation ended. From somewhere in the dark, a stealthy bird of prey had made our meadow mouse its mark. The fireflies were flickering like torches on a path, 
to help the fleeting mouse escape the predatory wrath. He scrambled down a rocky trail. His body got the chills. The fast approaching owl is the kind of bird that kills. It swooped in right behind him like a wave upon a beach. The great horned owl nearly had a mouse within its reach. But just before the metal mouse was taken in its grip, an unexpected hero helped him give the bird the slip. Another little mouse had come to save his skinny tail by pulling him to safety underneath a metal rail. Thank you, said the shaken mouse. I was almost fooled. That bird came out of nowhere in a snacking kind of mood. She peered into his nervous eyes and volunteered a grin. You have no idea, she said, the trouble we get in. The whiskers on their faces glisten in the summer moon, while a frog and cricket chorus sang a country meadow tune. They sat there underneath the stars, discussing nature's way to better be prepared to face the challenge of the day. The end. So now, did you notice that there were predators and prey? Do you remember which animals were predators and which one were prey? Let's take a look back in the story and see if we can find some of the predators and some of the prey. Let's go back to the beginning. Here's the little mouse. And there's the spider. Do you think the mouse wants to eat the spider? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if mice eat insects. Here's the honeybee. The honeybee has a great job to do because the honeybee said that she feeds over one I mean, 30,000 mouths. That's a lot. And there's the chrysalis going into metamorphosis, changing from one thing to another. Didn't see a predator yet. There's the turtle, the wise old turtle, um, warning the mouse to be careful in the meadow. <gasps> Is there a predator on this page? Who's the predator? Yeah, the snake is the predator. And who do you think is the prey? Absolutely, the mouse. Oh my, who's the predator now? Absolutely, the weasel. And who's the weasel's prey? The snake. Is there a predator here? No, it's just Mama Bunny making mouse feel comfortable and safe. And then, Mouse goes out on his own again. <gasps> he meets a, a firefly. And then where's the predator on this page? Absolutely, the owl. Who's the prey? Little mouse. Yep, did you catch him? He got away. Great job finding the predators and prey in this story. So now it's your turn. Tell someone at your house about the story. Remember to tell them the important parts and your favorite part. I hope you enjoyed the story today. And if it was your first time, I hope you come back and join us again. Make sure to look around on my channel and you'll find some lessons about learning to read. There are also read alouds. Feel free to watch them again and again. Remember, if you wanna become a great reader, you have to practice the skills and strategies that good readers use every day. The more you read, the better reader you become. Thanks again for coming. I hope you'll come back again. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and like the story if you liked it and feel free to share. See you next time. Bye.